I feel so sad and depressed today. What happened? I was looking through Facebook and it seems like everyone is having a good time enjoying life except for me. Let me guess. You saw a lot of pictures of duck faces, people proudly holding alcoholic beverages and smiling like crazy at parties to indicate that they're having a good time. Live laugh love right? Yes, exactly. You have to realize that the pictures people post are carefully selected and only represent what they choose to share. They are not an exact representation of what their entire life is like. Most people carefully screen their pictures to show everybody that they're having a good time. And then people get depressed because it's like comparing a person's highlight reel to your entire behind-the-scenes footage. It's like anybody can look like a superstar when they create a carefully edited highlight reel of 10 consecutive three-pointers but if you look at all the footage of how many shots it took to make those three-pointers, it doesn't look so amazing anymore, I see. Now it seems so silly to be affected by people's carefully crafted warped illusions. I see a lot of the other end of the spectrum though, people who always complain and beg for attention. They say F my life or give some cryptic status and then I ask them what's wrong and they say, nothing, I don't want to talk about it. Yes, there's that too, a form of attention seeking. You see blatant forms of that with the like my status if you think I'm attractive. Yeah, I see a lot of those too. I'm also sick of all the trivial crap people post about their lives. I don't care what bar they checked into, what their food looks like or 900 pictures of their baby or how their life is going to end because there's so much traffic on the freeway. It's like they have no joy unless they share the trivial details of their life with 700 strangers. I'm convinced Facebook is for a lot of people that need the attention of others to fill a void in their life. Facebook is definitely an easy platform for narcissists to thrive on and it creates a social version of keeping up with the Joneses, who can have the most friends number of likes on clever statuses, or get the most pictures tagged, yes, I get that feeling too. I feel pressure to get more likes on my photos and statuses and comments and think of witty responses to other people's statuses in hopes of gaining more perceived social value. Seems so superficial and fake now looking at it, why don't you delete your Facebook, I'm afraid I'll lose contact with all my friends. You'll know who your real friends are when you delete your Facebook because they'll be the ones who will still want to get in touch with you. They'll call, email, text, or Skype you. Those are the ones you should be focusing on building relationships with. Quality over quantity. Deep over superficial any day of the week. Nobody can have true friendships with 200 people. Think about it. If a relationship is strong enough and worth having, it'll survive without Facebook. You're absolutely right. People had strong relationships long before Facebook came around. But won't people think I am weird for not having a Facebook? That's their problem. It has everything to do with them and their beliefs. Nothing to do with you. You can't change their conditioning. And if they negatively judge a person for not having Facebook, do you really want to be friends with them? No way. I hope to make better friends than that. I think I'm going to delete my Facebook now. Thanks. I feel like I'm unloading a lot of baggage. I can work on building relationships with real people in real life, not just socialize over a computer screen. It's so sad to see most people looking at their phones when they get together nowadays instead of interacting with each other in real life like real human beings.